the channel all you new subscribers i'm bar boss so check this out i got a customer's car right here and it's making a noise every time you give it gas or every time that you break you hear a popping noise somewhere in this area i thought that it was a motor mount but then after listening into it for a little bit i thought it was going to be something with the suspension i lifted up the car i looked in there and it looks like the upper control arm is loose on one side so I'm thinking it's gonna be that so we went ahead we got some parts ordered and we are gonna go ahead and try to fix that noise that problem we're gonna swap out that control arm and see if the problem uh, continues the upper control arm was loose where I could just move it by hand I checked on the passenger side and the passenger side was nice and tight so that's when I decided to pull the trigger and order the part for this side. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull the car in a little bit more in because it's 98 degrees out there. Um, it's still hot in here, but at least I'll be in the shade. Tire is off. Jack stands under there. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So at first I thought it was... The bolt, it's kind of dark under here, but at first I thought it was a bolt that was loose, but it's not. I believe it's the bushing in this right here. If you guys see, you guys hear that? That right there is metal on metal. That's what it sounds like. So every time you give it gas, it would pop. Every time you would break, it would pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably loosen up this guy, drop this guy down from here, because I'm gonna have to get that this uh, coil out of the way in order to pull those bolts out. So I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart really quick, and I'll continue recording from there. I got the strut off and I took this guy off right here and this was a weird number this was a 15 I thought it was a 14 and the 14 wasn't going in and then I guess the cords use a 15 right here either way um, these are the bolts in here that I have to remove from each side from this side and from this side and that will release this whole thing and you guys hear that I think that's where all the noise is coming from so I'm gonna go ahead remove that one and we'll examine it take a look at it all right so check this out we got both of them right here this one's the old one and you guys can see that it doesn't look like it's torn anywhere but I am able to move this by hand also on this side I'm able to move that whole thing on the new one I can't move it at all the design is different this one this ball joint right here is actually a better design because it's got the greaser this one doesn't 
but remember this one's a 15 millimeter which was weird to me and this one the new one is actually a 17 millimeter which sounds right to me another thing that i noticed is this right here this ball joint i can't even move it i can't even move it it's it's really hard this one look at this so this needed to be changed to be swapped out especially with these bushings right here being so soft so hopefully that's what the noise is and i'm gonna go ahead install it throw it back on um i am gonna use loctite on everything because we don't need any bolts backing out and then we'll go ahead and see what happens all right so i completely finished i reassembled everything back together the tires back on and we are gonna go around the block and see if it does the same thing or if the problem is fixed so i just went around the block and it's golden there's no more issues and it looks like the car is good it's ready to go back to its owner and that pretty much took care of that problem i'm gonna go ahead and do the raffle in a little bit and pick somebody for the stickers so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and i will catch you on my next one so then peace out stay safe catch you guys later